Well, joining us and Rylan here is Lady C's friend of 30 years. That's Annette Ballflower Lynn. Uh, Annette, is that is that the Lady C you recognise? Oh yes, I I know her very well. <laughs> so she's as bad as that in real life, then? Not really. I think she was very very provoked. Have you yeah. fallen I... out with her? I mean, have you argued oh. with her in the? Well, we might have had the odd argument, but nothing like uh, you've seen on television. So why are we seeing such an extreme version of her then? Because I think she has been horribly bullied. I think she has. I think what you see on the television, the edited highlights, I think there's a lot of stuff going on. Niggling, having little digs at people that have really, really provoked her. Mm. Were you surprised when she went in the jungle? Did she consult with you? Did she sit well, down with you and say, Annette, should I, shouldn't I? I wasn't consulted. I said, you're going to have to put things in your mouth that move across the plate. Do you want to do that, you know? Yeah. And, and she said? Don't go there, you know? And I was surprised when she did have to eat those unspeakable bits of food that she did it so brilliantly and that was when she was at her best actually mm. that's when we really saw her and everybody really loved her she was at the top of our leaderboard but it just seems to be this constant shouting a lot of people saying you know lady C, she's no lady it's the language that's coming out of her mouth well i think i have to say that i think the women have outperformed the men on this program and i do think that tony hadley and duncan Baden Valentine suffer from charisma bypass and they're just not up to the program. Okay, all right, go on, Ryland. <laughs> well, obviously, everyone's got an opinion on this situation, and one person that's definitely got an opinion is Tony's wife, which yes. is Ali. Yes. Uh, she was on Lorraine earlier. Let's take a look at what she had to say. Oh, Lorraine, I can't tell you how proud I am of him because I think he's handled himself perfectly. Um, and you know Tony, you've met Tony before. Yeah. He's, he's one of the kindest, most generous men that, that I know. Um, and um, for him to have put up with um, the abuse and, and the language, um, I, I just am very proud of him. OK, and he's a top bloke, Tony Hadley. I do have to say, I know him. He's a great, great guy. Uh, we're going live by satellite to Cheshire <laughs> to see someone who didn't actually become Queen of the Jungle, but she's Queen of the Pantomime scene these days. Um, it's former Cabinet Minister Edwina Curry. Good morning, Edwina. Edwina, I would pay money to Good see... Good morning. I would pay money to see you and Lady C in the same jungle camp. <laughs> Greetings from Northwich, where, as you can see, I'm the Wicked Queen. Uh, and um, I'm just wondering whether I should use Lady C's accent, whether it would go down very well up here. I was going to do it as a kind of Margaret Thatcher. Uh, Lady C is one of the most poisonous people, I think, who's ever been in the jungle. I thank my lucky stars I wasn't in with her. She'd have had a lashing from my tongue. But do you, tell you. do you think that the, the, boy, the boys are, are ganging up on her? I mean, there's, there's words being banned around, like bullied, and that, that then Tony's uh, suffered this abuse from them. I mean, these words are sort of being banded around willy-nilly here. Do you think that she, she's been bullied? I think she was doing the bullying. Very, very much so. And her, her language was dreadful. You know, I'm older than she is, so that I can say, let me tell you something, older people do not normally use language like that. Mm -hmm. And she was doing it knowing there were cameras everywhere. It was a form of bullying, and it was going to people like Tony, who, I get the impression, never swears at anybody, one of the nicest and most decent people around. Uh, he tried to get her to stop, and she didn't. You know, you're responsible for your own, own behaviour in there. Mm. And I think you're responsible for your own image when it comes out. But, well, but uh, Kieran's in there with her and, and he, didn't, he doesn't seem to have this issue with her at all. He's not seeing that. Mm -hmm. He's seeing what Annette sees. Uh, the word grooming comes to mind. I think it's rather sad. Uh, Kieran seems to be a decent sort of bloke. And little finger manipulated, twisted round all go into okay, one sentence. Okay. Wow. Uh, you know, he's very, very down. He's very sad about and, it. And uh, I wonder, is there any sort of naivety at all with Lady C? I mean, does she watch telly? Do you think she's watched I'm a Celebrity before? Is she aware of what it was all about? I think she probably had a rough idea, but I don't think she probably had studied it. But I do think that um, she was the lioness 
in yes. the jungle, and the lions just weren't up to it in the end. I do think that. OK, Rylan, go on. I, ju I just want to say about this, because it is a really, really tough subject. You know, mm. like you said, the word bully's been branded about from both sides, the word abuse and stuff like that. What we've got to appreciate is that this is an entertainment show that's mm. fairly edited, you know? There's 24 hours that's put into mm. an hour show of an evening. And Did it you say it's story. fairly edited? It is fairly you edited. believe that? Of course I of course believe that. Of course it's not that. fairly edited. Of course I believe that. Of course Listen, it's not. I work at Big Brother. I'm you think Big Brother's it. fairly edited? I do think it's fairly well, edited. good on you. That's, <laughs> as long as you believe but that. But my point is, Dad, stop it. the headlines. Birthday. But uh, what I will say is, is that what you've got to appreciate is Lady C, especially, she has been undoubtedly the biggest character of this mm. series by far. You're right, she's been a lioness yes. and she's really took over. But we have seen both sides of her. We've seen her arguing. Yes. But on the other side, we've seen her flirting with Ant and Deck, and we've seen her have a laugh, and we've yeah. seen her have a little singer song and stuff like that. The same with Tony and Duncan. Mm. It seems to be a bit of six of one and half a dozen of the other at the moment. I have to say, I, I really... give you an example of Go bullying? On. I mean, um, one of the things that they say at the beginning of a show is that no animals were harmed in this <laughs> programme. Yes. Well, when she sort of flipped a little insect out of a cup, Tony immediately picked on that and said, oh, that's so cruel, that's so cruel. How how many sort of crickets and snakes have had their vertebrae damaged in that program? Mm. I mean, you know. I, I think there may be another casualty. Edwina, you see, I'm just wondering, <coughs> next next year at your panto, could the wicked queen be Lady C? <laughs> <laughs> Well, she'd have to come and do rehearsal and get on with everybody and be nice and keep her mouth clean because there's children out there. This, this is, is true. proper <laughs> traditional panto. Uh, come Ed and see. Edwina, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for being here as well. We'll, we'll watch and, and see what happens. Rylan, thank you. We'll see you a little bit later. Thanks. Thank you.